Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be talking about death battles, ideas for death battles, and like how I think the battles will go. And like I wanted to use pictures in this video, but I didn't want to take the risk of like getting a copyright claim strike. Mm. And forgive me if the ideas I come up with are ideas y'all have already come up with. Like, the first one I want to talk about is Sakura Shippuden versus Lucy from Fairy Tale. And the way I think that's going to go, well, we've seen Sakura's strength. And, like, she is, like, just as, pretty much just as strong as, as Lady Tsunade. Lady. And what... The only thing I ever saw Lucy do was, like, summon, like, powerful beasts and monsters or spirits or whatever. And, like, if... Sakura would probably have trouble fighting some of them. But if she lands probably, like, at one hit against them, like, with the chakra in her fist, she would probably still win and, like, get to Lucy. She would defeat the monsters and get to Lucy, so... With this death battle idea, I think Sakura will probably be the winner. And I'm sorry if I don't give too much uh, of an explanation. Uh, the next one I want to the next one I want to talk about is Itachi versus Sashomaru. And I've seen how powerful Sashomaru is. Like he was able to stand up against uh, Naraku, and Inuyasha had so much trouble against him. And Itachi, oh my god, I saw how powerful he could be. Okay, with their skills and all about... Uh, Itachi could use the, the thing called the Susanoo, I think that's what it's called. And um, the strongest technique of Sashomaru's, I think, is his uh, Maido Zengetsuha technique. Hmm, between the two, I think the one who would win is probably... Okay, this one would probably have to give a little bit more thought, because... Like, I see how powerful they both can be. Yeah, the winner is probably going to be Itachi, because... If Itachi was able to get Sashomaru with, like, the Mangekyo Sharingan, like, Itachi... She would definitely be able to take him out. Uh, Sashomaru would definitely be able to, like, defeat him if he was able to stay clear of his Mangekyo Sharingan, in my opinion. So, yeah, last decision, I think, uh, that probably Itachi would definitely be the winner with this battle. Uh, this one's gonna be kind of silly, I guess. Uh, Chi Chi from Dragon Ball Z versus Winry from Full Metal Alchemist. And now, with this one, uh, Chi Chi has like we know that Chi Chi is is able to fight, but Winry, we never seen her fight at all in the series really. But she could probably like make an invention. Well, actually, let's take that out. She can't use inventions in this, but. I say, really no explanation with this one, because Chi-Chi can fight and Winry can't, so Chi-Chi would definitely be the winner, in my opinion. The next one, uh, Sanji ver from One Piece versus Rock Lee from Naruto. Yeah, both of them, like, can be quite powerful. Like, Sanji, I can, I saw the techniques that he does, like where his leg catches on fire, and, uh, Rock Lee is very fast, and, and he is very powerful when he, uh, uses the, when he opens the eight inner gates. Between them, there would definitely be some crazy fighting. If Lee, uh, used the eight inner gates, Sanji would definitely lose, but in my opinion, they would probably, like, be e sort of evenly matched if... Lee still had the weights on his ankles, and if, and Lee's speed would definitely be able, like, be, uh, I'm sorry, I can't think of the word, 
An advantage. He would definitely have the advantage in battle with his speed. He would definitely be able to be a lot faster, move a lot faster than Sanji if he had those weights off his ankles. So, between the two. Well, Sanji definitely would be able to do a good amount of damage if he was able to use his flaming uh, kick techniques against Lee. But final answer, Lee would definitely be the winner in that fight. Next one, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta versus Sasuke. It, Sasuke is one of the most powerful techniques and <laughs> techniques, one of the most powerful characters in Shippuden. Like he becomes even more powerful. Uh, major spoiler. He becomes more powerful, like, when he, uh, gets Itachi's eyes. And, his Susanoo becomes a lot more stronger also. But, Super Saiyan Vegeta, <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is definitely overpowered. Yeah, in my opinion, they would definitely be evenly matched. I've seen what both of them are capable of. Hmm. Super, Vegeta's Super Saiyan abilities would probably give him the advantage in battle. Um, Sasuke's Sharingan, with his Sharingan, he would be able to, like, see what Vegeta's next attack is going to be. Hmm. But, I don't, in my opinion, there's not going to be a winner with this. Am I, I say they're, they're evenly matched in this death battle. Okay, the next one, uh, Mila from... Tales of Z Mila from Tales of Zillia versus Korra from the Legend of Korra. And the reason why I chose this one, well, Mila has, if you've seen the Tales of series, you know what I'm talking about. Mila has, like, the four great spirits. And Korra is able to bend the elements, as we all know. Hmm. Like, the four great spirits would be able to, like, overpower Korra's bending if she wasn't in the Avatar state. And, if Mila got close to Korra, she would definitely be able to take her out with her sword. But if Korra went into the Avatar state, she would definitely be able to, um, like, take out the four great spirits and Mila would not be able to stand a chance. But if she used her Mystic Arc, uh, she would probably be able to do a great deal of damage to Korra, but Korra would probably still win because of the Avatar State. I've seen what the Avatar State is capable of. Although she did have trouble fighting against Zaheer. Well, actually, it wasn't her. It's because she had poison in her. But the winner in this one, I think, would be Korra. Okay, uh, the next one is Aang from the Avatar the Last Airbender versus Naruto, Shippuden. Yeah, if if Naruto used his chakra mode, he would definitely take Aang out. But if Aang was in the Avatar state, he would be able to stand a little bit of a chance. Oh my god, that would definitely be would epic. Not too much of an explanation in this one, but Naruto would definitely be the winner. Like he would probably kill Aang with his raw Saint Shuriken technique. And this one is, this next one, I really want to see so badly, and I hope everyone, I hope any, someone can make a 3D awesome epic fight of this. Uh, Sakura Shippuden, <laughs> Shippuden, Sakura Shippuden versus Tifa from Final Fantasy. And the great thing about these two, about these two, uh, both of them have special abilities and have monstrous strength. Like, both of them can, like, really, uh, like, take a punch. That's for sure. Even with Sakura's... Well, not really. Not with Sakura's punches, really. Uh. Tifa's Materia would def would probably give her the advantage, depending on what jutsu Sakura uses. If Sakura did that, uh, one thing with that, uh, one thing on her forehead, like Tsunami did... Uh, she would probably get the advantage in battle, and if she landed one hit against Tifa with Chakra in her fist, like a good amount of Chakra with the thing in her forehead, she would definitely be the winner in one hit. 
But if Tifa used, like, her ultimate techniques with her materia, uh, she would be the winner. Like, fighting-wise, just normal fighting, uh, no chakra or no materia, they would be evenly matched, but with their special abilities, I say probably Sakura will be the winner. And now another one, uh, Gamagori from Kill a Kill versus uh, Major Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. Now, if you've seen Kill a Kill, like both, Gamagori is like very big and strong, just like uh, Major Armstrong. And Gamagori has like that regalia, uh, transformation or outfit thing that he uses when he fights uh, Ryuko. But Major Armstrong has um, his his alchemy, has his alchemic abilities. Now, if even Ryuko is able to stand a chance against Gamagori, but if he did that re uh, regalia outfit transformation thing, uh, Major would probably have a t tiny bit of trouble finding him. But Major is very powerful with his uh, alchemic abilities. But even he had trouble against, uh, Scar. But, final answer for these two? Final answer for the winner. Probably, uh, definitely Major Armstrong. And, the last one I want to talk about. Ryuko from Kill la Kill versus Urza from, uh, Fairy Tale. And now, uh... Urza transforms into different outfits. Like, she transforms her outfits that gives her different abilities and, like, different weapons. But Ryuko's Senkats would probably give her the advantage in battle. Like, I don't remember if there was an outfit for Urza that allows her to fly. I cannot remember. But uh, there is a way for her. Ryuko to fly with Senkats. But if she was, if she used the power of all the, like, three, all, all the Goku uniforms, like she did, uh, major spoiler here again, like, like she did in the, like, like the semi-final episode, uh, she would most likely take Urza out. But if, like, let's say the power she had before that, if she fought Urza like that, Urza would probably kick her butt, kick her ass. Fighting wise, Urza would win, but with the all the power of the Goku uniforms, uh, Ryuko would win. So Ryuko is my final answer for that one. Okay, this is all I'm going to talk about death battles. If I get enough views in this video, I'll make. Like, more videos talking about death battle ideas. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.